know, I always dreamed of playing professional golf. That was my number one goal, to realize that, you know, all these dreams you had as a kid um, become reality, it's, it's crazy. You know, I have so many people that have helped me so much. You know, I definitely would not be where I am now without them. We're all in this together. I feel like it's a disservice to me, it's a disservice to my team if I haven't done everything I can to be ready and be at my best. We all have our role in this team and we all have our job and my approach is to give these guys everything that I have. I'm Sam Burns, Shreveport, Louisiana. To describe Sam would be to say he sets certain goals in his life and he makes it happen. Sam, to me, is one of the most talented players I've ever seen in my life. Sam is a winner. He's won at every level. Each and every time he tees it up, he expects to win. Goes right at the end. Oh, what a putt! He did it! Unbelievable putt there from Sam Burns. I love to compete. I love to go out there and give it my best every week. He's relentless in his pursuit of what it is that he's after. I always believe that there are no limits to where Sam will take his game. Sam is an extremely well-rounded individual. Golf is not his life. I admire the way he works. He's intentional in how he goes about his business and uh, he's just motivated and he wants to continue to win. From a fan perspective, kind of the outside looking in, you know, people will just see us out there on the golf course um, and see our caddies, but really behind the scenes, um, there's so many people involved. In college, it didn't necessarily register as much as it does now. I didn't really understand what that meant then, but now, I mean, it's, it's everything. I have a team of about at least five or six of us um, that people don't really know about. To have a team is extremely important. Everyone now travels with their physio, their sports psychologist, their coach, their caddy, their agent. I mean, it's, it's a very entourage style approach at the highest level in professional golf today. The team is everything. I think that when a player shows up at, at a tournament for a tournament round, that if he has trust and faith in the people that are around him, that he can focus on just doing what he's supposed to do, and that's just execution. Being a professional golfer and being on that stage, it's it can be so isolating. You know, a lot of the time in his job, he has to be on, he has to be Sam Burns the golfer, and I think it's so important that he has people that he can just be Sam around. We have been real intentional about putting people in place that can add to how good he is and what he's able to accomplish. That team is is close and, and tight-knit, and uh, I think it's some of the best in the industry. Okay, what do you want for dinner Wednesday night? Coladas. I knew you were gonna say that. Well. I really did. I already planned on it. Did you? Yep. Yes. It's my favorite. Putting a good team around him was very important. Number one was probably Caroline. She is, uh, she's the CEO. The CEO, the COO, uh, she's pretty much all of it. My role is just to be his wife and love and support him no matter what. She was my first Valentine when we were five years old, um, which is kind of crazy to think about. It was a card that he had his mom take him to drop off in my mailbox. I don't think I ever heard back from that one, but I considered my Valentine, uh, whether she said yes or no. He just kept asking me out. Even when I had a boyfriend, he would ask me to go to dinner, ask to do his homework at my house. We started dating after my senior year of high school. Uh, we dated for probably three or f four years. Got engaged and been married for three years now. I 
don't ask much about golf unless I know that he's struggling or I can tell he wants to talk about it and I'm always here to listen um, when he wants to share. And she's incredible. She travels pretty much every week and uh, she's extremely supportive and you know, I couldn't imagine trying to do this without her. The first of many to come. Well, he certainly paid his dues. And boy, that feeling is so sweet. Well done. Yeah, winning on the PGA Tour is um, extremely difficult. There's so many good players, so many guys that are capable of winning. I just told him I was proud of him. Um, I said a couple other words that can't repeat. It felt at that moment like it was a it was a brotherly hug for a lot of guys out here once they get the first win like you can see it snowball and that's kind of what the confidence was just through the roof i talked to him afterwards and he was telling me how his hands were shaking and i'm thinking golly that's had so incredible and so he worked so hard for it and he'd put in the time and he had put forth the effort he deserved it it's an incredible feeling i think you know when you worked so hard to try to achieve um, certain goals and, and dreams that you have. To have that opportunity, um, you know, actually happen and, and follow through with it, uh, it's, it's insane. His first Valentine comes out. Everybody's here. You, know, you always dream of that moment of having your wife uh, there and, um, you know, being able to kind of embrace each other and just I mean, just to know how much um, support and effort uh, goes into it, and uh, dang, sorry, um, to be able to share that moment together was really special. You have to believe in yourself, and, and Sam has always had the confidence that he could accomplish these things. But you know, until you do it, it's it's almost hard to believe. And so, it was really cool seeing him work up to those goals, you know, with his coach and with his family and with his support system. Yeah, it, it was special.